what they said. They say the money went to the account. I, I talked to the people at the IRS. Myself, I called them. Girl, that's some fucking bullshit. You, you put me on them taxes. You got my money. No, fourteen hundred dollars. Ain't no fucking dollar for. Me. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the POW Show. We are starting something especially new this morning. Um, I was in the spirit, and the spirit told me that we have to do more at the POW Show other than just sitting, acting skits, and making you guys laugh. I have to motivate you guys in some kind of way, and what better way to do that is if I come out here myself and have a talk with y'all, get to know me. Hey. For so long, we've been holding it back, y'all. Like I feel, baby. Come on. Oh, come on. Anyway, y'all, look. Last night's show went spectacularly good. Oh my God, the views are amazing over on Instagram. Y'all need to go check me out at the Powell Show underscore. Um, oh, that reflection is all in my glasses. But go over there and check us out, y'all. The video is hilarious. It took a lot to put it together. Um, I just thank God to be able to do this and be able to share the light into other people. Um, because I know a lot of you guys are broken. Y'all are in a broken place where y'all still trying to find who you are. You know, guess what? I'm still in that same boat, too. I'm trying to really grasp the concept of who Pierre is as a human being, as a person. Um, I really thank God that I'm able to just do this. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to do this for many, many years. And I've had so many people tell me, no, don't do that. Don't do this. You know what I'm saying? And it's always detoured me um, from what I needed to do, what my, my path was. And I really found my niche. For the first time in my life and I really enjoy doing this. Sometimes it gets to be challenging because the money is not there sometimes. Sometimes I'm just trying to put everything together with the little I got. And that's why it's so important for you guys to shop with me to help promote my brand and my show. I mean, I can't put this show on for free, you know what I'm saying? So look, I'm going to put this little cash up down here for you guys to actually do donate. Like, I'm not begging you for nothing. A dollar piece from everybody that view me and watch me, like, for real. I don't think that'll break the bank with y'all, but it'll help the show. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want this show to continue to go, I need y'all to actually, you know, promote the brand. You know, hold on. Let me see if I can slide this up here right now. My cameraman is not here. He don't come in until later on. Um, let's see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Here it is. Okay. I'm going to add it up here. Hold on. Let's see. Um... I'm going to add it up there now. And there it is. It should be on the screen. It's probably large as hell. I don't care. I'm going to minimize it a little bit. Let me drag it and fix it. Um, so if you see it go in and out the screen, that's because I'm adjusting it. Yeah, I'm fixing it right now. This should be perfect. Let me adjust it a little bit more on the screen. So y'all let's see it. Hold on. We're going to move it down a little bit. We're going to put it right here in this corner. That way it's not in y'all way. Y'all can see me still. Okay. I think we're good now, y'all. Let me know if y'all can see it good. If, yeah, if y'all can see it good, it should be right down there in the corner now. I'm looking at all. Yeah. It should be up. But anyways, like I said, y'all, go ahead, go ahead and donate to the cause. If it's a dollar, you know, you can't do pass under a dollar. So I don't really care what it is. Just donate to the cause so we can keep this business going and brand going. Um, like I said, I finance it myself, so it gets pretty expensive. And I'm not ashamed to tell y'all, like, we all have our struggles. I have bills. The first of the month is almost here, y'all. Like I said, I ain't get my semi. You know how mad them characters was last night? I wish I was getting it so I could go and do what I need to do, too. <laughs> you know, y'all don't want to hear that shit. Donate. Y'all got some cents. I'm sure a lot of y'all got to donate me a couple cents and crumbs over there. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep this show going, though. Last night was so perfect, y'all. It really let me know that if you put your mind to something, you can do anything. 
it don't matter what it is, how long it took, how long it's gonna take, as long as you envision it, the journey and the path along that journey, you'll be great. Like I said, this journey has just begun for me. I started this project in 2015. I gave up on it because of what other people, the naysayers and what I shouldn't do or how my family will look or I'll be exposing too much. So a lot of people detour my mindset, but you know, when you have a mindset of growth and you're trying to grow your mindset, you, you don't listen to those people. You know what I'm saying? You elevating, so you keep those people that's not trying to elevate out of the equation. A lot of us trying to carry and drag people with us that don't need to go with us, because I know somebody need to hear this this morning. We dragging these people that don't need to go or deserve to go with us. We still trying to bring them, and God steady throwing little things in it to show you like you don't need them. I'm trying to elevate you, and you steady going back on my word. You know, because if you believe in God and you stand fast, steadfast, you leave it with Him, and He's gonna help that thing grow. You know, all how high I go all. All faith without works is what dead. I believe that's how it is. So if you got faith, that means you give it to God and you let Him grow you, elevate you. Look at me right now. A lot of people looking at me like he's nobody. I don't know why he do this every day. I do it every day for that little girl or that woman or that man or that little boy out there that don't have a voice yet. I do it for you guys, ones that's looking at me right now that's scared to do this. Because you're afraid of what somebody else is going to think. I've been feeling that way for a very long time. But you know what? Fuck them people. What are you at when the light bill come due? Where are you at when my water bill come due? Where are people at? I be trying to figure that out all the time. Where are these people when I need them the most? Let me take these off because it's really like Like I said, where are these people when we need them the most? When we, our back is against the wall and we have nobody else to turn to but those people. And guess what? They turn their back on us. It's been done so many times. You know what I have. And I know you're looking at me like, girl, how do you know it? Like, I know. I've been there before. I've been walking on the highway before my family members and my friends passing by blowing, laughing at me. Like the shit was some joke or some kind of game with me. That wasn't funny to me. I never forgot that neither. No matter where I sit at today, I didn't forget what you did me back then neither. It's not holding on to nothing. But you don't forget where you come from. You don't forget who passed you by and blow and laugh at you neither. You don't forget those things. You know what I'm saying? People just get better at what they do. They forget that. But then they try to throw what you do wrong all the time on stuff. They, they never try to say, oh, I did this. You remember when I did you? They don't, they don't bring that back. They just think about what you did, what your reaction to the situation was. You don't need the people in your life, baby. Move on from them people. Get them away from you. Keep them out of your circle. And elevate. Because right now we're in a season and the, the season to elevate and transition into great things if we use everything that we're getting wisely. Like I said, if you use your platforms wisely, we all can grow. And I'm gonna use mine for everybody to get a piece and opportunity to grow. Even if it's not physically, it's mentally, emotionally, you're getting that support you need to grow and elevate the knowledge of things that uh, that I'm, I'm getting, that's putting getting put out here you might receive something. It might be the smallest thing you get from me that helped you along the way. And a lot of people look at certain people like me and like, what do he know? What could he teach me? What could he tell me? It's a lot of things that I can teach you. There's a lot of things I can tell you and a lot of past experiences that I experienced that really can help you before you go to it or you already been through it and I handled it in a different life. You might wasn't as strong as I was to get through it. Well, it might be something that you went through that you can get on that come in and tell me to help me grow. Like I said, I'm not ever too big to learn. I want to learn. And here at the Power Show, we all about love, promoting self-love. We don't care what gender you are, what race you are, what sexuality you are. We don't care about none of that. All we want you to do is come in, get a good laugh, get something that's going to stick to the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Outside of the cursing, outside of the drinking, you see... I want you to get something for this spirit, this gut, something that's going to stick with you. You know what I'm saying? Lifelong. If you don't get it from nobody else on this fake fantasy world, what I call Facebook, you're getting it from somebody. Like I said, I'm moving my show over to Instagram due to I'm building my followers. Like I said, I'm taking this show on the road, baby, pretty soon. We're going to get this thing pumping and jumping once we get these friends. Because, see, my fans ain't called no fans. I call my fucking fans friends. Y'all my friends, okay? Friends, all day long, we are friends. We family. <laughs>
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? We are family out here. And I just want y'all to know that with y'all support, we can take this thing to the next level. I'm pretty sure y'all already know that I got the talent, girl. I mean, look at it. Like, last night, should have showed y'all everything that I've been telling y'all. I've just been holding back. You know, once you released, I did this release where I just, I ran it. I cried like a little baby girl. I got my skimmy package, you know, and my mama's made, you know. But I ain't tripping who's counting the dollars. I was thinking about, like I told y'all last night, I'm going to try to open me a little app. I'm playing, y'all. Let me get back in my character while I'm playing with y'all today. Um, I just want y'all to know that y'all need to watch me. Because <laughs> y'all watching me grow. And it's amazing. It's really, really amazing that y'all can watch me on live grow. Because I never thought I would ever present myself like this to the world. Were well, you all in my damn business? I've always been a fairly private person. That's why I never really went out. Because I'm, I'm so secluded. Um, and it's not because I'm scared of nobody. It's just because of how the world is. And I try to protect my energy with everything in me. <laughs> a lot of people don't understand I'm very spiritual past anything. I, I try to protect my energy, my aura, anything that's around me. I try to keep it peaceful. You know, you see me on your custom. I do that. We all do that. It's just like y'all do it in private. I do mine loud. I'm not. Let me see. Hold on. Let me get this mic. Can y'all hear me? Like, I'm not the one that's going to do it in private. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people hated me. Like, y'all hated me because of that. But it's not my fault. It's not my fault, girl. It's not my fault. It's not my fault, honey. I'm not. Hold on, y'all. I'm being nosy. <laughs> but no. But no, for real, though, y'all. I really do this to promote awareness for... How can I say that? Depression, anxiety, um, people that's broken because I've been broken. So I, I, I can, you know, tell you some things about being a broken person. And developing right now because that's what I'm doing. I'm developing and I'm, how could I say that? I'm able to show you better than tell you that I'm changing. I'm changing. I'm trying to get better like people do. I'm trying to, I'm showing you. And it's going to take time. No long, no, you know, it's not a time limit on change. You know, I'm not perfect i'm not a robot so it don't get programmed right here in two days and i just click and the switch is just on but i am registering it i'm receiving it and i'm letting it stick for the first time because a lot of times we say we're doing something but we don't let it stick and register in our brain and boom it's gone so that's why i'm telling y'all in order to elevate you have to clean up some of the things that you do as well you can't always place blame or point the finger at people because you going through and they not. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning to take advice that I've preached several times before, but now I'm, I'm using it because my advice has always been right. I just always second guess because I had people tearing it down and pretty much making me question if it was right or wrong. And now once you get this strong, y'all, look, I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, once you get this elevated and strong enough to maintain on your own, ain't shit nobody can tell you. Nothing nobody can tell you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm the camera move out the way. Got cameras and phones everywhere. All right, we move back down. Okay. But yeah, um, I have a lot going on today. We're gonna finish up the the skit to um, the video with um, Cassie's mom, the one that y'all seen on the couch talking to Cassie. We didn't finish it up. Y'all think that's just the ending of it? No, that's just the beginning. We just was so busy yesterday um, because the show is supposed to be done before the show, but my crew is all over the place because how we are getting this thing in a structured form. I'm putting everybody in position to, you know, take their leads in this place, in, in, this, in this show. And so me doing it all because I do everything, y'all. I act, I sew, I draw, I make glasses, I write. I sing, I do whatever the hell it takes to keep this show going, and sometimes I don't even sleep, which has been really hard for the last almost ooh, two, three months of no sleeping. But with that, I still take care of my, my face, my skin, which I haven't noticed. I am 30 years old. I have like a little bit of a little crow's feet under here, you know, I know all about it too. 
But I'm not tripping because I've seen some of my classmates. Y'all don't get it. Oh, don't get mad. But y'all look old. Some of y'all look old for no apparent reason. Like, y'all need to let the drugs go. If y'all on the drugs, if y'all on them jobs, let them bitches go. If them jobs got y'all looking like this, y'all need to let them motherfuckers go. Ain't no job that'll stress me. I remember driving that truck every day for almost, uh, I was in the truck for fucking days and weeks at a time for 14 hours a day. I drove 11 and it didn't turn me looking like that. It hurt this old back of mine, you know, pat on the back. It didn't hurt her a little bit. But other than that, it didn't detour my mind or oh, make me look like that. And I think I did a little bit more partying than a lot of you. Let me look and see. Cause God, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. Give yourself a pat on the back too. Yeah, my daughter, y'all, she ain't here today. She had went by her grandmother. Y'all gonna see this shit today on camera. She treated me last night. They jumped me the kids. I know y'all seen it. If y'all didn't watch that whole footage, Y'all better take y'all ass and follow me on Facebook, I mean on Instagram, because y'all really missed the whole story. Like, y'all missed how these kids jumped on me as Cassie and wore my ass out, even though I was getting a better end of the ass. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody gonna whoop Cassie, honey. You know what I'm saying? Yes, 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 darling. Well, wipe on my little glasses, y'all. Ain't that glaring, but it's cool. It's close up, so. Yeah, see, I see my glaring like that. But no, um, I'm going to do this every morning. I'm probably going to start it from 8 um, to 8.30 every morning where I do a morning show. It will get better than this. Um, this is the first one, so. I'm just putting it together, getting my background together, what we're going to use. The background's going to have different backgrounds for everything, as y'all notice. Um, we're really doing this, and we're really live, and I really thank y'all for all the support. Everybody that supported me um, along the way. I also got somebody, um, not, I'm not going to put it out until after they come. I'll be uh, promoting, they're going to be sponsoring me with their lashes from now on, promoting their lashes. Um, I was so amazed to get the message last night. I was so infatuated. So when you see this, you know who you are. I will be wearing your la lashes every time I can. Um, oh my goodness, I'm excited about that. So we were moving y'all, we're elevating. Like I said, we're really starting to move off. Um, like I said, y'all want me to promote your hair, your uh, nails, your clothing, whatever you have. I don't mind putting it out there. You just All you got to do is email me at howtobookpowwow at gmail.com or you can simply in my inbox here or DM me on Instagram. Um, there's many ways to reach me. Um, you won't be able to reach me on phone, but you can reach me through all these um, other outlets. Um, my manager is always able to be reached at howtobookpowwow. Um, you can look up Reedy on Facebook um, if you're trying to reach me. Um, other than that, uh, I don't know what else to tell you about reaching me. Yeah, it's funny, not. <laughs> yeah. I'm a motherfucker. Y'all can laugh behind the scenes, all y'all the fuck one. <laughs> see, they make me act silly around here, y'all. When you get, see, when you start punching motherfuckers out, then they understand. You need to care about that shit around your lip. Why are you talking about? Ooh, that's an ugly little face. Don't you make that face? I uh, know. I seen it myself on camera. I was like. What the fuck wrong with his face? Why I keep on going to the left side like that? That shit is not fucking right. That shit is wrong, man. Like, that is not right. That is wrong. Like, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and um, call my mom and them and stuff and see what they doing to me. Okay? And uh, let me see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see, y'all. We're gonna see. 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 Monkey see. Monkey do. But yeah, we're going to start talking about some, you know, celebrity news and gossip. I hope y'all guys tuned in to all the shows that aired last night, especially the T.S. Massive Experience. 
Um, I didn't get to watch it, I'm being honest. I didn't watch it yet, but I will. And like I said, I crashed after the show last night. I couldn't do it, but guess what? I got you already recorded, Greg. I have you. I got a subscription to you. So I do watch your show. I do. I just haven't done a review because I've been focusing. I've been focusing. You know, but I want you to know I do watch and I do support your show, girl. Um, Wendy Williams, I definitely support her show. Like, she kills me, child. And you know another thing that really killed me with my old man, he's always watching. Who yo, what's his name? I'm joking. RuPaul, like, every day. Every Saturday is my man. Every Saturday, no, every Saturday is the day that I tell him to cut it off. I'm sorry. You know that'd be my what day it be. But what no, no, I'm being for real. No. On Saturday when you we watch it again. I say I don't wanna watch no more motherfucking drag. We don't I ain't gonna watch it. Because I'll be telling you I don't wanna watch this shit. Like if you But no, you are fucking lying. I don't go there. We just watched it last week. You just had about the play. And I said, I don't wanna watch no more drag. I'm tired because I was like, I'm tired of being a motherfucking drag. Like, bitch, I don't wanna see no more drags today. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no disrespect. Okay, take a disrespect. I'm sorry, cool. Oh, you be, 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 be. But it ain't like that. I'm just saying. You know, when you dress up like a woman most of the week, and then you, 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 you get tired. No, I haven't. I've been dressed up like a bitch for the last couple of days, and I'm, I'm fed up. And don't be all of my life with that bullshit. Take your gas <laughs> on out of here with that bullshit now, because I ain't got time this morning with all that extra. Not on my camera, you know. Do your own thing on your own show. How you doing this morning? Anyways, y'all, I'm going to get off of here this morning. Um, I hope y'all tune in every morning, Monday through Friday, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. We will be on here with new live content every day. I will be developing more stories. We will get this thing pumping. Like I said, if y'all have any suggestions or anything y'all want the show to look like, you're welcome to go in my inbox or, like I said, email me at howtobookpowwow, that's P-O-W-W-O-W, -W -W at gmail.com. Again, thanks for tuning in to Mornings with Pierre.